Hello, in this example we are going to solve a closed process problem using a suitable test step. By closed process we mean that the system is closed and also the system is unsteady, it's changing with time. However, it transitioned from a given beginning state to a final state. In other words, the, the unsteady process, unsteady system is anchored by two unique states and that's the hallmark of a process and finally the system is uniform that means a single state can describe the system at a given time so you need just one state for b state and one state for the final state we'll do a mass energy and entropy balance for a particular problem and here's the problem what we have is a large block of copper no uh, sorry a large block of iron we are going to use the sl model is being heated from 30 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius. Okay, so, so this block of iron is being heated from 30 degrees to 300 degrees Celsius, and we are supposed to find the heat transfer Q in and the entropy generation as gen during the process. Notice that the boundary temperature here, is here where the heat transfer occurs is 1000 degrees Celsius. So let's begin. Uh, we, I have already launched the, uh, the I have already logged in to test, uh, test here and we will launch a suitable test step. Of course, uh, we can understand that we'll do a system analysis. We'll, it's a closed system. It's going through a closed process. So we follow this branch. And finally, it's a generic system, not a specific uh, system involving specialized knowledge, a generic system. And we finally have a uniform system, which means the system can be described by a single state at a given time. And finally, we pick the SL model, iron being a solid, SL is a suitable model. We click on HTML5 version of test calc, which is called a test app. What is known about state one? Before we do that, we first pick the material and what is given is a solid, which is a block of iron. And the temperature is given is 30 degrees Celsius and mass given is 10,000 kilogram. Notice that we don't need pressure because entropy and internal energy can be calculated as a function of temperature only for SL model. We go to state two. Again, what is known is that the final temperature is 300, 300 Kelvin. And of course, the mass doesn't change for a closed system. So therefore, we know state one and state two. So how do you find the heat transfer? Well, if we know the governing equation, uh, if you can see the ener governing equation, the energy equation immediately tells you that there is no, you can see that the change in energy is given by on the right hand side, the heat that goes in and work that comes out. There is no external work coming out here. There is no boundary work. There is no other types of work such as shaft or electrical work. So the heat transfer is basically the change in energy. So if you want to write in a positive term, term Q in will be mass times final energy minus initial energy. That is, if I go to the IO panel, I can write an equation like Q in equals mass which doesn't change i can pick m1 or m2 times e2 minus e1 of course e and u are the same because kinetic and potential energy are not important in this problem so this if i just hit enter we calculate the uh, heat entered in kilojoules because automatically si values are picked up in this panel so it is a huge number, 121, no, 1,214 million joules. In other words, such a big number in kilojoules, you should convert to million joules. How about the entropy generation? Again, if you go to the state panel and take a look at the equation, the entropy equation for such a system, the left-hand side shows the rise in entropy, final entropy minus initial entropy times the mass, the rise in total entropy of the system. That must be driven by entropy that comes in with heat and the rest is entropy generation. So therefore the entropy generation if you want to find we can write again a very simple equation from there as gen 
becomes equals mass times the rise in entropy h2 minus s so on and 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 then some entropy came in with heat how much is that q in divided by remember the temperature uh, it's a thousand degrees Celsius, but we cannot write Celsius here. We must convert it to Kelvin. So that will be, in other words, if you, if you look at that, the entropy is calculated, entropy generation is calculated and printed here. So as shown here, the entropy generation is given as 1911 or 1912 kilojoule per Kelvin. Again, this is SI units. So therefore, as you can see, we have calculated the entropy generation and Q in in the I/O panel, uh, but I leave it to you to formulate more equations in this I/O panel. Remember, you can access all the variables in, from the state panel here in the I/O panel.